many people this is your first MegaCon? Very first MegaCon. You've never been to a MegaCon. How many people have never been to a con before? This is your very first convention. Congratulations. I'm so happy to be a part of that. Thank you for being at a con. Awesome. Yes. First of all, how how are you how are you enjoying Tampa Bay so far? Oh. Um, well, thank you for asking. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people believe that when we come to a convention, that we have a lot of time to go out and cause trouble and get a criminal record and wherever that we're going to be at. But there really isn't a whole lot of time for that. So I took an overnight flight to get here and landed yesterday morning, and then slept a little bit because it's a three-hour time zone change from where I'm at. Uh, Dagobah is a three-hour time zone change, and sleeping, trying to adjust a little bit. And, you know, eating a little bit and then weeping because I need more sleep a little bit <laughs> and then uh, put on my makeup and come down and say hi. So there's really not a whole lot of time to, and by the time we get out, things are close. The highest murder per capita in the world. <laughs> oh, I was wrong about that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I think it was the most number of votes per capita. I get the two confused often, so I apologize. <laughs> But it's a lot of here. Now, how many people, this is your native land. This is where you were born. This is where you're probably going to die. <laughs> okay, that's fair. You already know your destiny. That's great. Because when you go to college, you already know what you want to do. When you go in and you sit with the counselor, they're going to say, what do you want to do with your life? I want to die in Tampa Bay. <laughs> that's pretty, that's good to know that. It's good to know your destiny. It's a big, it is a big question. And there's so many things you could do. A lot of people are like, I want to get into voice acting, right? How many people here are like, I want to get into voice acting? I'm at this panel to ask him how to do that. I want the miracle medicine <laughs> to do that. Well, I have an answer for you. And it goes a little something like this. <laughs> no. Um, so what happens, uh, everyone's path is different. Everyone's journey is, is it's not like, um, you know, like with uh, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> the only way to get to the end of that game is to do the missions. Everyone does the same missions, right? You have to. That's how you get to the end of the game. There's no magical way to do this. Like Tatum, for example, was tricked into voice acting. <laughs> he was tricked into it. He was told, the director's like, hop in there, just do a quick audition. They recorded him for the audition, and then when he got out, the director said, okay, well, that was your first session. And they kept what he recorded. So through deception, he got into the music. There's uh, the way I got in is that I was um, doing stage, film, and stuff like that, and then it just kind of I, I fell into voice acting. Really, it doesn't mean that I wasn't prepared for it because what's what's the similar word in acting and voice acting? What's the same word in acting? So I was doing that since I was ten years old. I thought voiceover. I really and this makes me sound. Um, When I watch cartoons, I did not know that back home has a nightcap, gets in his cage, and then they wait till the next episode. That's how I thought voiceover was done. I didn't know. I didn't know people did. So that's how I thought about voiceover. So when it came my way, and also when I was a kid, how many people in here were, were bullied as a kid or are still bullied in school? That was me. I was bullied. They made fun of my voice a lot. Made fun of my voice for years, actually. And so I didn't want to do anything with that. So that's why I went into acting, because it was more about the physicality and the creating character and things like that. Um, but when I was in class, I was always asked to read. So when it ever came down to reading in class, I would, they would say, Todd, you should read that paragraph on photosynthesis, etc. Um, do you remember what photosynthesis is? Yeah. What? What is photosynthesis? <laughs> it's how plants get their, their energy go. That's right, very good. Does everyone know, remember what chloroform is? <laughs> How many of you make your own? <laughs> you raised your hand a little too fast. <laughs> and then, woo, 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 they come in. Uh, so, I didn't, I didn't think voiceover was an option for me. Um, and then when I, when I got to, you know, I study in school, acting, just acting, and I would study that, and study, uh, movement and script analysis and character creation and then when I got to college you, you do I went to SMU and so you do different <laughs> stages of production. You practice makeup and then you practice costuming which I was not good at. I got a 
C on this thing called a rehearsal skirt. All it is is a big circular thing. How hard can it be to mess that up? I will find a way, and I did it. Um, but I did rock it in my field first. So, uh, but uh, it's a whole other panel. I have to break down the idiosyncrasies of Mafia Wars for you and one day. Ask me about it one day at a late night panel, and I'll tell you all about it. Were you there when I was talking about Mafia Wars last time? I'm not going to go into it now. If your university doesn't play Mafia Wars, you are missing out. That's all I'll say. Anyway, you know about Mafia Wars? Your school did it? Did, did they do it? It doesn't matter if it's community college. That's okay. Really? Your school, where did you fit into this equation? I did it with friends. Your friends did it? I watched it. Okay, you don't want to get your loved ones and, and put them in harm's way. Okay. And so I, I want to explain it now, but I, we can't do it right now. So you have a mic, and you're, you're going to run around, and maybe if people have questions, I'm going to give them answers. Run is a, a very strong word, um, but okay. I'm going to get around. You're going to daintily hover around the room. Okay, if you guys have a question, I would love to hear it. Yeah, remember what we talked about, right? Remember what we talked about? <laughs> hi. Hi. Tell me your name again. My name is Kayla. Kayla, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wait, wait a minute. Is that a Samsung phone? Oh, yes. Android is better. Good. <laughs> Android is the best. It's huge. <laughs> We are conversing with OLED, OLED screens, they're the best. Do you think Carol would survive the Solar Universe? Ah, yes. One of my favorite amphibians. Surviving in the Solar Universe, I'm thinking they're a pink pony to round to its fave. I'll be just fine. Yes, I think he would. He's the only frog that I know of. Well, there's, there's several things. So first of all, he goes around completely naked. <laughs> Just wears a hat on his head. But I don't know what's worse. Carol doing that? Or Winnie the Pooh walking around with just a midriff red shirt on and no freaking pants on? That's a bear that's asking for it. I'm just saying. You do whatever you need to do to get the honey. I don't want to know about it. I just see a pot and I want it full by the time I come back to the hut. Um, I can do it. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Jenny, hi. What is that? Uh, don't tell me. Uh, on your shoulder, that is a fen? No. Phoenix? No, that's wrong. Which one? It's a fox squirrel from Massacre. It's a <laughs> Way a wrong <laughs> franchise. <laughs> wrong My question is, so you're locked completely alone in a room. What is the one character you voice act you do not want to be locked in that room with? Ooh. What's the last character I voiced that Vic voiced before me? <laughs> that character. Um, actually, did. Um, I don't want to be locked in a room with, uh... <laughs> with the guy, Rin, from the, the one where I'm like uh, in charge of Yidrasil and I'm like, I stab people and keep them that way and give them little time seeds. You remember that guy? The really nasty one where the angels like want to kill each other but then at the same time they want to do some other things with each other and so they're doing them at the same time. Remember that show? That guy. Yes, that's the one. That I don't want to be. I'm not old enough. I, I, can't, even, I can't even drink yet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm almost there. One day. Yes, when I turn 21, you can buy me a drink. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, the first conner of the day. What's your question? Who are you? Tell me your name. Okay. Is this thing on? You good? So. Okay. Thanks, Anthony, by the way. Nice, nice to finally meet you. Nice to see you, champ. You too. I waited a long time to finally see you. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for I'm being here and making well, the time. Like you said, this is my home. Tampa is my home. I, I was raised here and I was. I will die here. <laughs> a man who knows what he wants and knows his journey. I like it. I came from Chicago. Okay. So you were raised here. You took off to go to Chicago. Well, I was born in Chicago, oh, okay. but I came down here when I was three. Okay, right on. So you're a native. I'm a Floridian. Yeah, you're a Floridian. You're a Floridian. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's my question. What about this new fairy tale project, uh, anime? Yeah. What do you the, call the 100 year? Well, that's after this. So what we're doing now is we're going to do 60 more. Well, I was oh, sorry, let me take that back. I hear they're doing 60 more episodes. <laughs> of the fairy tale. And there's a possibility that I will return as the fire wizard and possibly get to the last episode where we see Lucy not kiss Natsu. <laughs> hey, what are you, you two? Will we get together and photosynthesize? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping so. What about Happy? Ha will I photosynthesize with Happy? I don't know if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's... Is it, oh my. I don't want to hear about that fanfic. <laughs> Hi, right, what's your name? I'm Rhiannon. Hi, how long did it take you to get your cosplay together? Um, like my site took a year, and yeah. then my outfit took a few months. That's awesome. Did you make your site? Yeah. Very cool. So you're, so you're pretty yeah. handy. Oh, so you guys put yours together so you could like kind of friendly competition compare, but not really like, oh, we're just setting them up here, but really you're looking at them like, mine's better. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I know, you know what I'm talking about. Mine's best. Okay, all right, I can't get involved in that. I have to be bipartisan. <laughs> So, but the wig is warm. You're hot under the wig, is that true? Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but it looks great. Thank you. I appreciate the little details. Thank you. Thank you. What's your question? My question is, um, what do you think if Death Kid and Natsu would get together and become friends, or they got each other? Well, Death the Kid and Natsu get together and become buddies. Well, here's the problem. Natsu doesn't really care about neatness. <laughs> You know, so I feel like it would be a problem. He, his, his thing is like, like that the kid likes to sit down with a little chamomile, maybe flip through Netflix, and basically at the end of a 45 minute cycling session decides there's nothing to watch, even though there's a ton of things to watch. Whereas Natsu likes to be very destructive, and anyone that makes Lucy cry, he becomes a sociopath and has to kill them. <laughs> so I don't know if they would get along. If the property were big enough, and like one were in one wing and the other were in the other wing, and you know they never really cross paths. Kind of, well, that's what I do with Melania. And you know, it's where it's like that arrangement where they don't really ever see each other. Then it might work. That's that's an odd choice. Not a lot of people find that to be their favorite. What makes it? Why do you favor it over Ocarina of Time? So you're a polygamist with the Zelda games. Yes. You like to, you don't want to settle and grow up and choose one. You like to have them all and have your cake and eat it too. And they all silently judge you and are angry at you because you won't choose one of them as the main game. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so my question for you, what is it like being in a recording booth and making all these awkward sounds and then hearing them again? <laughs> you know, it's interesting, when I'm in the booth, it really depends on the environment created by the director and the engineer and everyone that when you, like for example, when I go to Funimation and I'm in that booth, I've known those hallways for over 10 years. So I'm very at home with those studios and people there because I've been, we've been to movies, we've been to parties, we, I've been to their weddings, we, we've been in each other's lives for a long time. So it's, it's um, a little more free in terms of with the work. When I'm in a studio, there are some directors that I'm meeting for the first time, and you know, you have to break a little bit of the ice. You're figuring each other out. I, I, I'm internally trying to decide if I trust that director, if I think they've got the, the vision we need to get this project to the finish line. And they're looking at me wondering, like, you know, I heard he had a weird voice you know, when he was a kid. I heard a lot of people made fun of him. Let's see if he can do this. Type like things so we're figuring each other out. If we can't settle it when we're in the booth, there's usually a table set up with grips, and we arm wrestle. Um, it's in my contract, I forget what it is. But it depends, sometimes, uh, whenever there's a project that I, that, uh, that I work on, it's usually about, uh, the people involved will, will determine, honestly, if I take it on and do it, really. And so, because you know, everybody wants to work with folks that they like, right? That's the most fun way to do it, you know? And so that's what, what I try to do. 
And so with, I think that if Link were teamed up with any other fairy, he might not go on adventures. If he goes out of his hut and he doesn't hear, hey, listen, he might not do it. Not the same way. Good luck with the George Mask. So, between Natsu, Ayato, and Lindell, who do you think would win in a fight? I think John Cena. <laughs> Yeah, see when, you know, there was a time when it's like, 
you, you made a rule with yourself. You don't get a new video game until you beat the one you have. Yeah, that's not how it, I've got so many games. I mean, I could play a video game every day for the rest of my life. I want the PS4 VR, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PS4 VR is pretty cool. There's a Batman game for it. You actually get to be Batman. That's right. That is. It's very cool. Well, good luck on your video game journey. Yeah, I made that very easy. Here you go. Great. Gail, what's up? Okay. So first question is, what is your Hogwarts house? And the second question Hoverpuff. <laughs> that works. Okay. <laughs> and um, if Raj and would Raj and Naji get along? It's Raj. Uh, mm. Are we talking about beginning of show Raj or end of show Raj? Uh, you got because uh, they're very different. They're very different. End of show, Raj, probably. Beginning of show, Raj, also probably because he'd be dead. <laughs> and it's easy to get along with a dead person because whatever you want goes. <laughs> Not that I know what that's like. Also, if you could actually make a Raj version. The dead version would be like this. <laughs> If he was alive, it'd probably be like this because he's about to die. So I voice for Watch Mojo in their videos, and we it's been a year next month, and we're talking about if that'll continue. And we're discussing the future and stuff like that right now. But working with them is fun. They sent me the script, and then I all the jokes that you most of the jokes you see, I just I add those in as we go along. And uh, it's fun to work with them. I, right now, my biggest thing I'm trying to get them to realize is that I can do different lists. And so I want to do, because I, I told him, I, I, this is how I worded it in the email. I go, I also like movies and comic books and other things. <laughs> and so, wait, 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 wait. yeah, so uh, we had a big, so we'll see what happens, but they're, they're great. I was a fan of theirs. And when I reached out to them uh, to talk about voicing with them, um, it was very nice because there was a mutual admiration the minute we started chatting. So they were very, Kind and having me aboard, and, and it was fun to, you know, to, to work with them. So I hope it continues. Yeah. Now I know. I remember. You did have a second question. How was it? How was it just watching Jocko? Oh, Jocko for Dragon Ball is a. There need, you know what? I go back and forth because sometimes I'm like, there needs to be more of them. But then I'm like, well, is he like a, a dessert? Where like you 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 want the dessert, but if you had dessert all day long, every meal, would you still want no. that dessert? It depends on the dessert. If it's got cherry and dark chocolate in it, I want it every meal. He's more like a strawberry with salted caramel. He's a salted caramel strawberry. Yeah. Like, it's like, not tier one, it's like tier one. Yeah, well, no, he's tier one, he's tier one. Uh, what I don't understand with desserts, now that you brought that up, is who decided in the world that strawberry was going to be the master, and raspberry was going to be second place, and mango, stick to dinner. Like, I don't, I don't understand how these fruits get... Wait, what? Who says that? If you look at it, strawberry is kind of... Strawberry is the rock. Raspberries... Well, I was just talking about this at breakfast. Raspberries, Tony Stark. Then you have... Hawkeye, Black Widow, everybody else. All the other fruits. Bananas kind of in there, maybe even like fried banana dessert. No, I hate banana. <laughs> exactly, banana pudding. Exactly my point. So your banana is Edward, or is Eric Bana Hulk. <laughs> Some people like them, most don't. Mango is number one. 
Mango, I feel like. Okay, yeah, mangoes. I like mangoes, but they're not incorporated into, unless you go to Thailand and then it's like the sticky rice mango dessert. Oh, you get mango ice cream right at Publix. Yo, but you know what I'm talking about? Like in restaurants, when you order dessert, it's usually a strawberry thing. Here's how it typically goes a strawberry thing, a chocolate hazelnut thing, an apple tort thing, a creme brulee thing, and then your coffees with booze in them. <laughs> Wait a minute, how old are you? 24. Okay. <laughs> You're like 16. Yeah. 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 You quit your job because you're doing nothing but glitter at home. You lose your friends because they can't get a hold of you. You're choosing glitter over them. It's a dark spot. And then you're living under a bridge, trying to get your glitter fix every single day. And then someone comes and meets you and starts a GoFundMe page because you helped them out with a little glitter when they were in a, a tight situation. Then they raise $400,000 on that GoFundMe. You only see 75 of it. Then you take them to Glitter Court because you want the rest of that glitter money. And then they spent all that glitter money. And then you have to go to their home at night, be a knee in their home, plot out where the bedroom is before the alarm system goes off, take their lives with a glitter blade, and exact your revenge. All because you got drive by glitter to the company. <laughs> Uh, unbeknownst to me, when I'm at a drive-thru, I have to say, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but when I go through a drive-thru and I don't know why, but I'll order food, and then at the end of the order, they go, that'll be 17.35, ma'am, pull around. <laughs> and then when I pull around, it's that slow, like... <laughs> and then when I'm on the... When I'm on the phone with that customer service, it happens as well, and I don't understand why. It's frustrating. Um, that's the only time I unknowingly use my voice. Other than that, I'll use. I used to call my friends, my my roommate in college, um, Michael Turner. What's his name? He's still alive. It's not like. <laughs> uh, I would call his mother as him, and have. 15 minute conversations with her and she didn't know. <laughs> now these conversations were very rudimentary because that's how we all talk to our parents. Like we give them these one word answers. It's like, that's how my mom is. My mom's like, oh son, how was school today, son? And I'm like, it's good. <laughs> what, what did you learn today in school, son? School stuff. Like, you know, <laughs> it's so hard to extract that info from your kids. Um, but yeah, I would call and, and do his mother. Um, I would also, oh, one time I called Warner Brothers and duped. So all the Batman movies are produced by uh, Benjamin Melnicker and Michael Uslan. All those movies. When I was in college, I, when they were about to do Batman Begins and all that kind of stuff, I was like, man, I really want to be in a Batman movie. Because I was a big Batman fan. Uh, and so I, I shot a video, a movie of like a little montage of me, like this would be it. You know, this is my idea of what it would be like to be Batman from Batman Beyond or whatever. And so I, I got a hold of their numbers, their personal numbers. Um, this is Don't Do This 101. And I called them uh, acting as my own agent because at the time I was like 17. No, 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 19. I was 19. Because I graduated when I was 20. So yeah, I was 19. And so uh, I called and he was not happy. He did not find it innovative that I found his number. Uh, and he let me know and it didn't work out. <laughs> but I definitely pretended to be my own agent with him. And it doesn't work when you don't know what agents say to guys like that. <laughs> so then when he's, you know, when you're talking with them and you're like, 
Yes, that sounds like a good number for negotiation. Gotta go! Okay. It, it doesn't really build your agent credit. It's like when you put stuff on a resume that you say you could do. And... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so I knew someone that put on there that they flew helicopters, and so they got hired to be a helicopter pilot in a TV show. And then when they show up, the guy's like, okay, there's the helicopter, it's a 7, 716, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you wanna get in there and kind of get your settings all together? And, and he had to tell him, I, I don't fly, I mean, I flew a helicopter in my dream once, but it's like, <laughs> they fired him right there. Of course, of course they fired him because like, that's a safety thing. So I wouldn't say that. I would say that maybe you could, the things you can lie about on your resume are like, I love the last season of Arrested Development. Uh, you know, those you can kind of fake your way through. You know there's going to be a never nude in there. You know there's going to be some cornholing uh, from the cornholer. Uh, Someone's going to burn themselves on it. But other than that, I would say don't lie on a resume. You know, it's probably not a good idea. What's that green thing in your lap? Oh, it's Jacksepticeye What is that? It's Jacksepticeye. You say that like I know what Jacksepticeye is. I mean, he has 20 million subscribers, so... I'm not part of that subscription base yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what's his name, Jack Skeleton? His name is Sean William McLaughlin. He's uh, Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye? Yes. Why, why does he have that name? Uh, he's Irish, so okay. Oh, Jacksepticeye. <laughs> When he was little, he played soccer, and his friend. Um, and he became uh, Irish. He got hit with the ball, and he's like, "Oh, I'm Irish now!" I hit the head with the ball. Okay, so Time to start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna make little flashies of my eyeball and get infected when I get hit in the head. He got hit in the face with like the face front knee or something. I was right. And his eye turned green, and they gave him the nickname as Jack Subdivide. And they poked it out. And it was made of guacamole. They squeezed it into a bowl. Like, is this weird? And they ate it. And it created a bond. <laughs> but that's why his name is Jack something. So yeah. Like, I, yes. I feel like you've changed to me. Yeah. You so, okay? Google him and then Google Markiplier, and then you gotta, you know. I know. Now I know him. Yeah. He's. Uh, How do you not know Markiplier? Like, if you don't know Markiplier. Like, no, I do know him. No, like if you did it, like I'd be mad. Is this, is this Josh Sanjay? <laughs> he looks like he has both his eyes. <laughs> he does. It's oh, like Jack Septic Eye. Yes. So you're saying it like Septic Eye. <laughs> Coming 2019, Jack Septic Eye. <laughs> His real name is Sean. S E A N. Can I tell you what is absolutely like? His selfies are horrible. Horribly <laughs> open. Well, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll tell you why his selfies are horrible. Every selfie, okay, yeah, I get it, he's at different places, but do you see any piece of those other places? All you see is his whole face in different locations. Okay, you can't really say anything because he's more popular than you. Oh! Whose panel are you at right now? <laughs> Million followers. He's got 5.7. On YouTube. Don't YouTube's a dying art. No, no, no. Yes, no. Can I ask my question now, please? Go ahead, dummy. <laughs> my name's Felix, okay? My name's Todd. Why'd you call me dummy? It's a hard dummy. Why are you bullying me right now? <laughs> is that the first time you've got bullied before, so. But you know what? I, my buddy, uh, a buddy of mine told me about a friend of his who said that. I think his last name was Wines. Anyway, go ahead. Oh! Oh! It's not the first time you've been bullied. Get in this office. <laughs> that doesn't hold up in court. <laughs> you can't apologize after 20 seconds after calling me a dummy three times. <laughs> Well, I guess Jack accepted that. <laughs> you hear that, Jack? I made her life amazing. I mean, he did too. You're just not. You know 
know what? I'm more of a specialty club. Jacksepticeye is Sam's warehouse. Everybody goes to the shop. But if you want the quality goods, you come to the boutique grocery store. Where an old woman works behind the counter and checks you out because she doesn't know how to use a credit card machine. But damn it, it supports a small business. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest fan fiction you've ever read? Oh my God. <laughs> there was this weird, strange, uh, fictional fanfic I read called Jack Septicai's <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why do they start off with a lie? I'll keep reading. Septiplier? Yeah, yeah. Septiplier, yeah. yeah. But um, the weirdest fanfic I've ever read, there was one of Vic and I. <laughs> And it got a little adult. <laughs> I felt like I felt like after I read it, I looked down at my chest and three hairs went boom. <laughs> <laughs> like I became more of a man after. <laughs> Have you read the one about uh, Dan and Phil squishing a hamster? Uh, I mean, you're speaking to me as if fanfic is part of my morning routine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a part of everyone's morning routine. No, no, no. This no. Jack septic eye read fanfic. <laughs> Have they written fanfics about him? Uh, yeah, Septiplier writes. Uh, it's Septiplier is the fanfic. It's a, it's a ship between Markiplier and Jack Septiplier. Okay. That's Don't good. just look it up. It's, no, my God, never mind. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Okay. Look it up. But, uh, yeah. Okay. And there's also, like, Yuri and Ice and stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for uh, educating me. <laughs> Oh, I, I did have one question. How many people here in this room right now are cosplaying as Jack Septica? <laughs> okay, zero. How many people are cosplaying as a character I voiced? Yeah! Oh! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Eat that, Jack Septica! <laughs> there are five times more cosplayers in here cosplaying a Hammer character than there are of Jack Septica! <laughs> There aren't 5,000 people here! Okay, because MegaCon is a base around YouTubers. Ah, but SakuraCon, I did a panel for 4 There's also VidCon. And for VidCon, I did a panel for three people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I've never been that con. Um, Jack Septic Guy sounds like a guy I need to meet. Is LA right now? Maybe I need to get over there. What's LA like? <laughs> Is it? What did you do there? What should I do if I go? You should go over to this house. Where does he live? <laughs> Why do you know where he lives? <laughs> Are you Jack Septicon? <laughs> it was this whole. Yeah, that's right. Um, when was the last time you were in LA? Um, two years ago. Right on. Did you go to Disneyland? Oh, why? You, are you not a theme park person? I went to Inside and Out Burger. Oh, in Inside and Out Burger. <laughs> Bring the cow on the table. We're gonna flip it inside out. There's your burger. <laughs> it's a little bloody. That's what we do here. Um, okay, so you went to In and Out Burger. What did you think? Best burger in the world? It was very plain. It's a little plain. That's true, that's true, yeah. In and out took been around for 70 years, but you're right. <laughs> McDonald's, you know what I find weird about McDonald's is they go billions and billions served. It's like, is, is anyone really gonna check that number? <laughs> they can say anything. They can say tri trillions served, multiple planets love our food. And there's no way we can fact check that. Just be like, I guess they're right. <laughs> one minute, throw in that question. Go, on, right. go, go. On a much different note. So, which one of your characters do you think would be the best Pokemon trainer? Oh, uh, Haversepticeye. <laughs> <laughs> but see, he's probably he's probably too busy to catch Pokemon, so I would have the time to catch them. So I guess that'd be something that I would do. It'd be Septicai and Habercorn Incorporated. That would be our law firm where we just deal with Pokemon cases. 
see. And then, yeah, Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have to say, guys, it's been a true pleasure. Thank you so much. It's good to see you guys.